and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a poll wear try on haul for you and I'm going to be telling you about the sets, what I think of them and I'm going to tell you the price of everything as well. And there's stuff from Pole Junkie and then there's also smaller brands in there as well. So let's get straight into it and show you my gorgeous pole sets. So if you like these types of videos and you like this video then please subscribe and stick around and let me know in the comments which set is your favourite and if you have any recommendations for pole sets yourself because I'm always on the lookout for more pole wear so uh, yes definitely let me know what you think. So the first set that we have is this gorgeous purple set from ASOS. So this is a top and leggings and you can see that the top is asymmetrical as well so it's a one shoulder top which I find quite flattering. Um, I know it's not to everyone's taste and it kind of depends on what your chest size is as to how the top actually sits but for me I quite like it and it's not so low cut that I feel like I'm gonna fall out of it. I would definitely wear this to the gym, you know, I'm not gonna be upside down in the gym so I don't have to worry about falling out of it anyway. The leggings, I feel like I could have gone down a size in the leggings but they're not too bad. Um, they're really stretchy, really comfortable and they're actually not too see-through as well which I was surprised at for the price because this set was so cheap and it was already in the sale and then I got a little bit of discount off it as well. So my total for this set was £12.80, which is unreal for a gym set. So I'm very happy with this find. I love it so much and I have to stop myself from going on ASOS now because I just see too many things that I like, especially in the gym wear. So next up we have our first pole set. So this is actually by a smaller brand that I found on Instagram and I think I'm gonna pronounce the name of it right. It is Leggy Seggy and the color of this one as well is so bright. I have gotten lots of compliments on this set asking me where it's from. It's a super bright magenta color and it's quite different in the shape of the set. So it has a really nice high V neckline, which is quite flattering, I find. And then it has a nice strap detail around the rib area as well. And so it's quite nice for the price of it because this set was less than 50 pounds, which is really good for a pole set. So if you go to Leggy Seggy's website, you can see that most of the stuff is customizable. So you can leave a little note about any details or changes that you want to your set. I really wish I had have asked for a scrunch bum because once you go scrunch bum, it's hard to go back. And like, I like the shorts, I like the shape of them and I don't think that they are too revealing, but I just wish I had that little detail. It would have made them just perfect. But overall, very happy with the set. And like I said, 48 pounds it was for the top and bottom. So to find a pole set that's under 50 pounds is really good. And it's a smaller brand as well. So it's always good to support your smaller brands. So definitely check out Leggy Seggy, especially if you have seen this set on my Instagram and you're wondering where it's from, where can I get one? They do also have like different styles of shorts as well. So there are more high cut shorts. There are more full coverage shorts and there's a few different patterns as well. So definitely check them out. So this next set is actually a mixture of two different brands, which I saw on the Pole Junkie Instagram page. So Pole Junkie will post inspo for pole sets, which I really love. So the shorts are by the brand Rolling. So this is like a newer brand. So they only have a few sets out at the minute, but they are really nice. And the shorts you can see have a little detail along the bottoms. It's good because it gives the illusion of a higher cut, but you're actually still quite covered. So they're very comfortable on. And the material is really soft. Like I was quite surprised. So that might be a good option for you if you feel like you would like to change the shorts that you're wearing to a higher cut, but you're a little bit scared. This will kind of give the illusion, but you'll still feel like you're covered. So. It's a win-win. And then the top is by Luna Lay. So I actually have this top in purple, but this top doesn't have the bra clasp at the back. Uh, I don't know why, because it is the same top and it does make it a little bit more difficult to take off because it's quite tight. It's very secure. I love the high neckline and the straps are adjustable as well. So you can make it looser, you can make it tighter. Um, I like that detail of it, especially because Lunalay is not the cheapest. So it's good that they have 
those kind of adjustable features for you as well. One thing I will say about the fabric of this top is that it's quite delicate I find in the wash so if you wash it too many times it kind of ruins the quality so you might want to consider hand washing it if you don't want to ruin your pole sets especially as I said if you get a full Luna Light pole set it's probably going to cost you 60 pounds or more so you might want to you know make it last as long as possible so maybe hand washing it is the way to go. So the price of this set is a little bit more just because of the Luna Light top but the shorts were 28 pounds which is not too bad and the top was 35 so the total for this set was 63 pounds which is kind of like your average price for a pole set right now especially if it's on Pole Junkie where the brands are a little bit more well known. And so it's a bit more pricey than the Leggy Seggy set but it is not the dearest for a pole set, um, it's kind of standard price. Next then we have another gym set. So this set is actually from Dunn's stores, believe it or not. And it's a nice seamless set. It's sort of ribbed and it came in two different color options, I believe. I think the other was like a dark navy teal color, which was quite nice as well, but I just went for black. So this set was very inexpensive, which is like the main reason I got it. So it was, I can't remember exactly, but it was about 14 to 16 pounds for the top and the bottoms, which is really good. But you do pay a little bit of a price because obviously it's not gonna be the best quality. So I do find that the leggings are a little bit see-through. I only really wear them to pull and I usually have shorts on underneath them. So it doesn't really matter for me too much. So the top for this set, I have made it reversible because it's quite low cut at the front. And I don't always love that. I do prefer a higher neck. So I've just turned it around. Uh, but I think I can get away with it. It doesn't it doesn't really look like it's not supposed to be that way. Um, and like I said, I'm only wearing it to pole. I don't think anyone's gonna say, what are you doing? That looks weird. And um, last thing about this set is despite it being a little bit see-through, I do find that it is very warm. But whatever way the material works, it is quite good at keeping in heat. So even as it's gotten colder, it has been keeping me warm. And I think obviously with the long sleeve top as well, that's kind of helped. So yeah, I do think this was a little bargain find. I don't know how long the leggings will last. As I said, they were very cheap. So it's not gonna be too much of a bother if I have to throw them away or buy a new pair. So last set then, I've saved the best for last. This is definitely my favorite set and I'm sure you can see why. It is so stunning. The material is amazing. Uh, look at the shine, look at the color. So this is again by Luna Lay. It is a little bit more pricey this time, but I'm sure you can see why. The quality is unreal. This is one of my favorite sets, but I will say it's not my favorite to wear to pull. Um, the top is obviously a little bit more revealing and so I don't always feel the most secure in it, but I bought this set to wear for a pole shoot and it was perfect. You can see that it is top quality, it is so gorgeous and the photos came out really well as expected. So you can see that the top is adjustable and it is padded as well, which is good. And the back of it is very nice. It has, it's just like strappy all the way around. So it's quite a nice detail rather than just having like a regular plain back, it's a little bit different. And then the shorts have scrunch bum, of course, and they're very comfortable on, like they are very stretchy. You would maybe think it's like a regular lycra material, but it's not at all, it's much softer. So the total for this set was 65 pounds. So the top was 34 and the bottoms were 31. But again, definitely worth it, especially if you need to invest in something for a pole photo shoot. This set is definitely a win for me. And again, this is probably a set that you might want to hand wash. Um, it also does snag quite easily. I do have a little snag on the top and I don't know how it happened. It literally happened like after one day of wearing it. So just take care of the material. So that is it for my haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, leave me a comment down below telling me which set was your favorite. And hopefully this gave you a little bit of inspiration for your next pole set. And let me know if you got anything for Black Friday week for pole, or if you have any suggestions of your own for myself on new pole wear. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.